This year's first robotics competition was one of 5409's most challenging yet. At one point, we didn't even think we'd have a functional robot in time to compete, but we made sure that hard work didn't go to waste. And that's what FRC is all about. A team of students dedicating six weeks of their time and working together in hopes to come back successful in the end. This is how our season went. This year's game was Crescendo, a robot 3 on 3 game using orange foam rings called Notes. The goal is to score as many notes as possible into the amp, trap, or speaker over a time frame of two and a half minutes. Now, depending on which contraption you score in, or if you or your robot allies achieve amplified, autonomous, or high notes, the notes can be worth more points. So with that in mind, in January, as a team, we broke down the point system using our decision matrix, and calculated the ways to get the most points possible. Through this, we were able to decide the optimal design of our robot, which kickstarted our build season. After six weeks of building, working through problems, and many reiterations, only days before our first competition, we completed our robot, Stormont. This year, we competed in two competitions, North Bay and McMaster. By the end of those, Stormont was placed second worldwide for Endgame, and we had qualified for the Ontario Provincials. Despite all this, we still weren't guaranteed to make it to the World Championships, and so we headed off to Provincials, hoping to do well enough that we place in the top teams that qualify for Worlds. Our Provincials qualification matches were all super high energy, and our drive team really surprised us with their abilities. Heading into Alliance Selection, we were aligned 7 captains, and partnered with 7558 Alt F4 and 1285, the biggest birds. On the technology field, the lower placed alliances, us, Alliance 7, and also Alliance 6 and 8, ended up defeating higher placed alliances, and we were all stoked about that. <laughs> We also won the Autonomous Award, and one of our senior team members, Dylan, won the Skilled Trades Award. Although we lost both finals matches, we still placed second in our division, and that bumped us up in the provincial rankings a lot, ranking 8th overall. we have are due to our amazing sponsors who provided us with materials to build our robot, money that funded our travel to North Bay, to Provincials, and especially all the way to Houston, Texas for Worlds. All of this heavily contributed to our success, our awards, and for us to be able to make it as far as we did. Our sponsors are giving our students once in a lifetime opportunities to explore the field of STEM, and we have so much appreciation for them. So, once again, thank you. To get to Houston this year, we decided to take a 35 hour straight bus ride, which was definitely an interesting experience. Monday and Tuesday were spent getting to Houston, but competition didn't start until Thursday. So on Wednesday, after eating some of the iconic Texas shaped waffles, we headed to our first stop of the day, a tour of one of Caterpillar Inc's facilities where they manufacture construction equipment. We got to learn a lot about what they do, and also hear some really cool stories about what it's like to be involved in that industry. And thank you to the hosts at CAT for the merch and delicious food as well. After that, we headed to the convention center where the competition will be tomorrow, so that our drive team could run some practice matches. The rest of us checked out the venue and played some games outside while we waited. How's your day, guys? Yay! <laughs> I've been doing this for like 20 minutes. Are either of you going to catch it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Good job. On Thursday, it was time to start the competition. Uh, 
We got our first win of the day alongside one of our fellow Canadian teams, 2200. Outside of matches, the day was spent around the venue. We're scouting alongside our friends from 4476, Waffles, another Canadian team. Okay. Friday was day two of competition, and we continued on with qualification matches. Wow. Oh. oh. Yes. <laughs> How are you feeling about the last match? Good. We're gonna win it. We're gonna win. We just need to be confident and prepared for this match. Yup. Yep. Yup. Yep. We are. Where is the wisdom? Ah! There was also a ton of stuff going on around the venue. Mark Rober even showed up at one point and performed some big smoke hey. explosion thing. Hey. Saturday was a very early wake up since it was a line selection and playoffs day. By the end of qualification matches, we're second in the Curie division for stage points and second for endgame out of over 3,000 competing robots, plus first in endgame and amp points in Canada. Now, since we weren't selected for any alliances, this would be where we head home, but everyone was still having such a great time that there was a full team pushback effort in our chat against leaving. We stayed the rest of Saturday and watched the Einstein finals, or at least we attempted to, since it was packed and most of us were multiple fields away. We left Saturday night to take the long bus ride home. This season truly tested our team's abilities. For us, achieving one of our highest placements at Provincial so far, and making it as far as Worlds for the second year in a row, only proved that staying optimistic and putting in the work can get you where you hope to be. Through this journey of determination, we all gained valuable experience and made a ton of great memories. Nice job everybody, what a wonderful year. Yeah. Yeah.